And this is my solo project. Here we have Rick Dobb. Uh, Singer songwriter, you're dressed like wolves. No, Your name? Matthew. Yeah. Who's bandmate Matt? Yeah. Say a few words for the camera. No. Oh. Alright, I'm just standing here. Yeah. Listen to a bit of music. How do you feel about uh, the earthquake in Japan? Uh, it sucks, I guess. It's uh, not very good, is it? How do you I, feel about Be Happening? Be Happening? Uh, yeah. They're really good, actually, yeah. How do you feel about being a, an internet celebrity? Uh, it's a bit daunting, but. Get along with it. And just... how do you feel about pirates? Dickheads. Sounds. Cheers, Rick. No problem, man. See you later. Um, if you follow me, I'll take you on a, a guided tour of where we record at the moment. This is Rick's brother's bedroom. This is a fucking tip. But never mind that. And if you come into here, this is where we are recording at the moment. Yeah, currently we have our microphone set up. And we just finished a new track, actually. But you can't hear it because we don't really have any speakers. Sorry about that. Um. Hi there, Matt. Alright. You've uh, just finished uh, doing an album and that. Yeah. Uh, how's that feel? your album. Yeah. Yeah. Does it give you a warm fuzzy feeling inside? Yeah, a big glowing feeling, knowing that it's like really good. Breakfast That's cool. Yeah. I also feel the same way. How do you feel about the uh, earthquake in Japan? It's a pretty disastrous yeah. occasion. Um, and it's kind of like the start of the end of the world and stuff. Yeah, I think. And is this end of the world Situation affected your music in any way? Maybe Not in the really. form, maybe in the form of how it will be released. Um, I might have to uh, put it in a time capsule and uh, wait till it all blows store it all underground. Then. Yeah, and then no, I hope and like people in like ten thousand years will discover it. Yeah. Yeah. Rediscover indie music. Mm, indie cool. music of, of the past. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. No, I, I think that's very noble of you. Cool. Do you have any uh, closing comments? Um, let's see. No. No. That's fair enough. Like 
like you Cause he looks like you In the shadows in my mouth These names he wrote Like death notes Running through my ears Stop the camera. Besides, I don't want to be an avant-garde drummer, Matt. An avant-garde drummer, you say, Rick. I think I can pick it. Hi. Just, uh... Just don't make it like a long Yeah. Just still haven't figured out how it's going to work. So oh, here we go. So what's the deal here then, Matt? Basically, we only have one microphone stand. weekend. Who we got arrested? We've just finished recording Bitter. Oh, whatever I've renamed it. We've just got to do an intro and the bass for it. Yeah, we're uh, And then, then we're wrapped on the album entirely, aren't we? We're pretty much done. And then we're gonna whack it in a zip file and put, put it in. for a download. See how cyberspace reacts to it. Hopefully it approves. Oh. Glamour of recording, home recording. It's not really much glamour like, but yeah. Oh, it's, not it's been a tough one. Um, I've enjoyed it though. We tried out loads and loads of new methods. Wondering why I'm not around no more. Mostly, uh, all the mixing was done on 4-track and stuff, um, but we talk about tape recorders too much, I think. Yeah, it's on the 4-track. Music-wise, we had a lot more new instruments and stuff. You probably recognise this from uh, the 80s. We the scored room. a piano, and Rick got a bit, like, but we just went off it, really. We put, like, tight piano on, and you know, loads and loads of shit, like, uh, I'm thinking of doing a couple of loops for it as well, just in between the songs, and that's about it, really. Oh, that bass drum is just, like, the, the most sonically pleasing 
thing in the whole world, like... I could listen to it all day, man. Oh, don't film me being a geek. Oh, yeah.